Okay, I I completely promise that that is not rigged. So how did the last fan feature Friday win the giveaway? <laughs> That's what they picked. So Mark, I'll be getting in contact with you. Don't worry about sending me your email because I already got it. So welcome back guys to Toyota Topic Tuesday. And what's up with this Toyota Topic Tuesday? Toyota is going to the moon, baby. I will put this article down in the description for you guys. So this article kind of made way a couple days ago, but I figured for Topic Tuesday, it'd be perfect to get into this. So basically, Japan's space agency wants to have people roaming around the moon by 2029, and who better do they reach out to than their own company, Toyota? So they want to co- develop with Toyota a nice, reliable space rover that's basically going to get people to travel on the moon, explore the moon, uh, and get them back safely and alive, which is one quote in there, which I would really hope that you would want people to come back alive. It was just weird that it was a, co a quote. But the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, J-A-X-A, uh, basically wants to develop a futuristic off-road lunar vehicle that would launch in potential 2029. So there's going to be a bunch of moon stuff going on. I don't know if you guys are into space. I love outer space. But there's going to be a lot of moon stuff going on in the mid-2020s, uh, 2026 with like space station stuff and with NASA and everything. So Japan wanted to get into it as well. So they're going to partner with Toyota. Uh, this was announced on March 12th that they are working with Toyota vehicle manufacturer to develop a moon rover of futuristic. Uh, this vehicle is going to be a fuel... Stop, bro. Hey, stop it. Stop it. This vehicle is going to be fuel cell powered with a maximum range of potentially 6,213 miles or 10,000 kilometers, which is absolutely insane. Uh, it goes on to say that manned rover missions are going to be the big things for the future and that cabins of these vehicles uh, are going to play important roles in full-fledged exploration of the lunar surface. So that's why they're getting with Toyota for all of this stuff. JAXA president said that through our joint studies going forward, we would like to put use to Toyota's excellent technological abilities related to mobility and we look forward to the acceleration of our technological studies for the realization of a manned pressurized rover. So this thing's going to be potentially crewed by two astronauts, but for the capability of four in case there's an emergency or anything. This thing's going to be huge, like 20 feet long. Uh, it's going to have six wheels, 17 feet wide. Like it's going to be a big boy. It's pretty cool. And these renderings of it look awesome. Like you could see the Toyota Heritage grill inside or on the outside of this lunar rover thing. Like that's that's very, very cool. So how does this play into topic with us? Well, this is potential 2029. A vehicle co-developed with Toyota going on the moon. Go outside tonight, look at the moon. It looks absolutely beautiful tonight. It's freaking huge. But just imagine a Toyota on the moon. Like <laughs> that's, that's insane when this thing is a complete dinosaur in 2021, you know? So I think that's insane. Uh, what that really means is that Toyota's technology, obviously, which we've seen in some recent models of their cars, the RAV4, Camry, Avalon, uh, all these new cars that are up and coming, especially the Prius too. It's just, you can see the technology is starting to get there with Toyota. So I think with them co-developing for this, that'd be very, very cool. Uh, so it may let some technologies from JAXA like trickle down a little bit. Maybe it'll help accelerate Toyota's future in the car industry as well, you know? That's very, very cool uh, to be partnered with your space company to co-develop something and send it out there. I mean, look at Tesla with SpaceX. Tesla are one of the top technology, like technological vehicles. And then you have their other company, SpaceX, and you know there's some co-mingling with those two companies, you know? So, I think that's very, very cool. I'm very interested to see what mid 2020 into 2030s uh, do for the space, like next space race or something like that. Uh, so I think that's very, very cool. So if you guys enjoyed this random topic Tuesday talking about the moon and a Toyota on the moon, uh, give this video a thumbs up. If you guys are new around here, feel free to subscribe and I will catch you all in the next one. All right, see you later.